let's start with the first topic which is floating point representation now this is the format of the floating point number it's plus minus significant to base into plus minus exponential here plus minus is the sign which your number is going to have this is the significant num bit for example over here it's 12.12.34 dot three four and ten to the power 56 isn't it so this one two these are the significance these are the numbers the base depends upon what you're using here I'm using 10 as my base you can if you are using a uh, binary number then you will be using 2 as the base if you are using a um, decimal number 10 as the base so in this way um, your base depends upon the number system which you are using and this is another um, exponential values it, it can also be either plus 56 or minus 56 so it can be both plus minus now why floating point is important you must understand this uh, suppose let us take a very example and understand um, let's take this small number it's 0 0.0000 so as you can see there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so there are approximately 10 zeros and after that I have a mm, uh, number 1 now if I want to represent this small number in computer then I will be re uh, in, if I convert it into a binary number you will see it, it's a very large binary number it's uh, but the value is very small so even though my value is very small I am having a very large binary number so you can try it you will find it now it's not efficient I mean it is not the efficient way of using my memory why because I am having a very small number and I am taking such a huge num number of bits to represent it which is wrong similarly suppose I have this number this one zero 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 so I have uh, around eight um, zeros after one I mean this is also a very large number and you know to represent such a large number also we will be requiring very very um, huge number of bits so in order to properly utilize the number of bits present in our computer memory we try to format our number in such a way that it is easier to represent and calculate so for that we will be using um, your binary uh, floating point representation as for this example particular example this example this particular number 0 0.000 this can be represented as this way also 0 0.1 to the power minus 10 so if it is minus 10 then this particular 0 it will go up to 10 decimal places over here and I will finally get this number only so this number and this number both of them are equal but as you can see that uh, it, it it is formatted in a uh, better manner and it can be also represented in a better manner why because uh, if I want to represent this particular number in a computer in a digital computer all I have to do is I have to convert this particular thing and it will take one bit of data now this base this the base are not represented so the, we don't need to represent this base because it is automatically taken at and over here I have one and zero this can also be represented by four bits isn't it so I have one bit over here I have four bit over so five bits approximately the five bits can represent this number obviously if I have some sign then I will be requiring one bit for such sign number also if it is plus then one so in order to save our number of bits we require to represent a number into a floating point number so that's the significance of floating point number what is important now uh, people can write a number in different ways suppose let's see this example this particular number 0 0.12345 into 10 to the power 6 it can be represented in this way also 0 0.012345 7 or 1.2345 10 to the power 5 all of them are same all these three numbers are same then how to standardize this for that we have what it is called as normalization rules now what is the normalization rules there are only two normalization rules the first normalization rule tells me that integer part should be zero that means in this particular number this is my integer part so if I have a non-zero value over here then it is wrong so it has to be zero the integer part has to be zero so this two correct with respect to my first rule these two numbers are correct this is wrong now let's go back to the second rule the second rule says that in the decimal places in the decimal places the first digit it should be greater than zero it should be greater than zero and the rest digits it can be either greater than or equal to zero 
isn't it so in this particular format in this particular format in this particular numbers this digit this digit after the decimal point it should be greater than 0 it should be greater than 0 so this number is okay what about this no 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 it is 0 it cannot be it has said that it uh, it should be greater than 0 but over here I find that it is 0 so this is wrong hence even though these three numbers are same but for floating point representation using the normalization rule only this number is taken into consideration so you have to keep that in mind your integer part it integer part has to be 0 integer part has to be 0 and after the decimal point the first digit it has to be greater than 0 the other numbers it can be anything suppose um, this 0 0.1 0 0 0 0 it's okay 0 0.111111 it's okay so both of them are okay but you cannot have 1.00 it is wrong neither you can have 0 0.01 it's also wrong so these two rules are important so keep that in mind now in order to represent a, f a floating point we have two methods one is a single precision and floating point representation and another is a double precision floating point representation the single precision can represent up to 32 bit and double precision can represent up to 64 bit the basic syntax as I have already given you over here it is the sign bit the significant and the exponential the sign bit the exponential and the mantis mantis is the this expression parts now uh, this is for my single precision this is for my single precision pardon me if I make any mistake and if the video is a little clumsy uh, this is this is the first time I am doing such kind of online um, I am taking such kind of online classes so with time I will improve and also with your feedbacks so bear with me if you have any problem or any doubt you can always ask me in the whatsapp group or in the comment section so this is the single precision it's a 32 bit representation the first one it will have one bit to represent the sign the next it will have 8 bit to represent the bias exponential and the next is a 32 bit I'm going to explain this clearly let's move on with the first one the first one is a sign bit as you can see over here it can be either positive number or a negative number so if it is a positive number then I will be putting 0 over here so 0 represents a positive number if it is a negative number then I will put 1 over here so this sign bit will tell my digital computer whether the number is a positive number or a negative number next now my number ranges from minus 128 to plus 127 every one of you know this uh, you are aware of this you have gone through this in your previous semesters now what happens is that this exponents this exponents this exponents can also be signed so it can be positive it can be negative and that's the reason i'm having a number ranging from minus 128 to 127 but in order to represent them in computer what we do is that we add a bias what we do is that we try to make it positive even if it, it can have a negative and a positive value it can have a range from minus 120 to 1 plus 127 i'm going to shift it i am going to shift it by adding a bias value so what i have to add to this minus 120 to make it a positive value i have to add 128 so i am biasing over here so i am biasing over here by adding 128 and so my entire exponential gets shifted from minus 128 to 127 to 0 to 255 so it is it has been shifted why it has been shifted because i have added this particular bias which is 128 so i have added this with my exponential next we have what is called the truncated significant now what is truncated significant remember the uh, normalization rule over here i told you what did i tell you that this number it has to be greater than 0 so if it is if has if it has to be greater than 0 then what it will be it will be 1 I mean it, it can be 1 isn't it so if it is 1 then I all I know that it it, it will always be 1 if I represent the normalization rule then this particular digit will always be 1 as you can see over here this particular digit will always be 1 so if I know this fact then why should I use this fact so if I do not if I uh, ignore this and I consider that this will always be true in that case I can represent 
the next i can represent 24 bits by using 32 bit did you get me let's see let me take two examples see over here see, let's consider that there are 24 bits so it's uh, 0 0.1 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, there are 24 bits over here also i have 0 0.1 uh, this is the minimum value this is the maximum value so there are 24 bits now the first bit is always one so this, if this first bit is always one then i can represent 24 bits by using the remaining 32 bits because i know that this is always one hence i am um, optimally using my uh, computer bits isn't it so i can represent a 24 bit number with the help of a 32 bit space why because i know that my first bit will always be one so that's the reason it is known as truncated significance so i over here though it is 32 bit but i am basically considering a 24 bit number because i already know that the first number as per the normalization rule it will always be one so that's it 24 bit information is represented by 32 bits so that's the significance so this is for single precision so i have 1 8 32 so if you add them it will be 32 only 23 sorry 23 plus 8 plus 1 will be the same thing it can be for a double precision in a double precision i have 64 bit over here this is the sign bit this is the biased exponential and this is as you know it is the truncated significance so this is your floating point representation and its significance so what is the main significance of floating point representation the main significance is that uh, it is going to save a huge number of bits by because if i have a very small number i can represent it in this way if i have a very large number that can also be represented in a smaller way so that's the significance thank you